Hi everyone, welcome to Pi AI Botics. This is our first video of image processing in computer vision tutorial series. In this video, we will discuss about very first step of any image processing operation, that is reading an image. We will also try to understand in which format image is saved and how to access each pixel and how we can visualize the image. For doing all the image processing operations, we will be using OpenCV library in Python. And if you don't know how to install OpenCV for Python, please watch our previous video Install OpenCV for Python for basic setup. So let's get started. This is the basic Python code for reading and displaying the image. Let's go through each line and try to understand the code. First line of code is import CV2. Import statement is used to access all the functionality of any library or module. In this case, we are importing CV2 which is an OpenCV library. Once this line is executed, we'll be able to access all the functionality of OpenCV library. In the next line, we have declared a variable named path to save the path of the image which we want to read. Then we are using imread function from cv2 or opencv library to read the image. Let's look into imread function first. imread function takes two parameters. First one is the path of the image and second is the type of format in which user wants to read the image. If user wants to read the image in RGB or color format, then user need to pass the second parameter as value 1. And for grayscale or black and white image, use value 0. And if user wants to read the image as it is, without any changes, then the second parameter will be minus 1. As you can see, we have passed both 1 and 0 as a second parameter in imread function to read the image in both RGB and grayscale format. After reading the image, it's time to display and visualize the red image. And for that, we're using imshow function. This function also takes two parameters. First parameter is the name of the window in which the image will be displayed. And the second parameter is the variable in which the image is saved. According to this code, it will be either img underscore RGB or img underscore grayscale. Then we are using wait key, which is a keyboard binding function and its argument is time in milliseconds. This function waits for specific milliseconds for any key press event. If user press any key within that time, the program continues and if we pass 0 as an argument, then it will wait indefinitely for a key press event. And destroy windows is basically used to kill all the windows created during the execution of the program. Let's execute the code and visualize the results. As we mentioned in the code to display both RGB and grayscale image, we can see the desired result as the output of the code. So this was a basic code to read and display the image in Python using OpenCV. Now let's understand in which format image is saved when we use imread and how to access each pixel of the image. When we use imread function to read the image, it gets saved in the form of 2D array where each element of an array is representing each pixel intensity value. But for RGB image, there will be three 2D arrays, each array for red, green and blue intensity pixels. Every element of an array have a coordinates represented in the form of rows and columns. For example, the first element of an array have coordinates represented as 0th row and 0th column. Similarly, the second element or the second pixel have 0th row and first column as its coordinates. And the maximum value of rows and columns in an array is equal to the resolution of the image and also represents the coordinates of last pixel of an image. Let's assume if user wants to access the first pixel of an image. As per the array dimensionality, the first pixel have coordinates as 0th row and 0th column. So if we use these coordinates, we can access the first pixel value. And similarly, any pixel or group of pixel of an image can be accessed by passing the coordinates of the pixel in an array. As you can see, the first pixel of grayscale image have one value. But for RGB image, there are three values. Each value of RGB pixel represents red, green and blue intensities. 
The color which we see in the RGB image of each pixel is formed by the combination of these three intensities. I hope this information about reading an image and accessing each pixel is useful for you guys. That's it for this tutorial. We will explore more image processing operation and its implementation in our upcoming videos. And if you are totally new to image processing, watch our video on what is image processing and its career opportunity in 2020 to get basic overview of the topic. Please share your thoughts about the video in comment section and make sure to like and share. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos.